How are you doing this evening? This is Norma's from Norma Art Creation and tonight we're going to be making jewelry out of the skins. I've already prepared some so I'm going to show you but this is the skin. This is peeled off of the of the mats and uh, of the picture that I did yesterday and it came out really pretty. Now these are some of the jewelry that I have already prepared and you can see how pretty they are. I'll take you in for a closer look but you can see how pretty those skins they really you really don't know that they are acrylic skins. I've taken and bought some bead boxes at Walmart and at Hobby Lobby and these are I've sorted them out I've gotten all my findings from Amazon there's a whole bunch of different ones this one came with um, a small one so that you can make earrings and they have the earring holders too so I think that this is going to be a lot of fun and that's what I've done with a few of them yesterday. This is um, one here and then the two earrings that will match it are these two right here. So we'll be making some and then I'll take you down for a close-up. So as you can see, I'm going to move it over just a little bit. As you can see, I have some skins. I have a cutting board. And I'm taking the little glass bead and putting it on my skin to see where I want to use it. Now, a lot of people take and lay it down and, and use an X-Acto knife and cut it right here on the cutting board with a sharp X-Acto knife. I really don't like doing this because the skin tends to stick to the mat and I'm having problems then pulling it up and I stretch the skin. So a lot of times I just pick it up and I, if I had a small pair of scissors it probably would be better. But I find just going around my just going around and cutting it with my scissors works real well and then if I have to trim it off if I have something that I need to trim it off then I use my exacto knife and I've even trimmed it off after I've got it in my finding. Now look how pretty that is. I think one of these is my favorite is this one right here. So now I have two different kinds of jewelry glue. It doesn't matter which one you use but I've got all these findings so I've got to decide well what color does this look best with? Does it look better with the bronze or does it look better with the, um, or, or what, what, uh, which one did I pull out? I pulled out these. So I ordered certain ones. So I've got this, this one, which is pretty. This one I think didn't have a finding that I think I might have used them all. Because that looks like this over here. Okay, so we're going to just set that aside and I'll find a finding for it. But look at this red skin. You can see the skin. And I was thinking I, it's got goals in it that kind of shimmer. I was thinking to put this square on there to pick up a lot of the different ones. It's a bigger, 
a bigger section and I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. Again, I could be cutting it with my X-Acto knife, but I'm having a problem with my skins um, sticking to my board. And they said glue them first. Well, I, I tried gluing it, and then it really uh, stuck to the board. So that's got a lot of reds. So I think I'm going to use this bronze. Let's see. I can look at it there. Or let me look at the silver. Ooh, that silver, I think, is picking up. It, it It's not being lost. I think it's picking it up. So I'll just take and put this in the silver. And I've got the clear tacky glue. And I've also got the E600 uh, jewelry glue. Right here, this E6000 jewelry and bead glue that I was using earlier. So either one will work. And I just take a little bit of glue and put it in the finding. Then look at my bead, which way I want it. And put it in there and kind of make sure that it is all level. Because you might have a... And then you can see how pretty that is. Now, I've been using parchment paper to uh, pull off my skins. So you can see right here, these are some pretty skins that I can use. So I've been putting parchment paper underneath my pouring so that it makes it real easy to pull off the skins. So look at those skins. Aren't those pretty? I can just see all kinds of necklaces in there. Especially right in here. So let's see what size we want. Definitely don't want that one because I don't know what the binding is. So we'll do a circle. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to lay it on the skin. Try to figure out the best place that looks the prettiest. Moving it around. That's kind of pretty with the pink on the top. Uh, always pretty when you have the, the blues and, and the whites running through. That, that always looks real pretty. Then I've got the blues down here with the reds that are kind of pretty and then I've got these golds that are very pretty and the gold shines up so I'll just move it around and look at this blue one all the colors in the blues that this one had golds on it so the golds will just shine up. It's got, it had pinks on it. I think I'm going to get me a small pair of scissors that actually have sharp. But look at that with the gold, with the gold down through the middle. I just look at these skins and, and see all the pretty, all the pretty necklaces that can be made out of these skins. I've got purple ones. I've got purple ones that would be really pretty. I've got this red ones. Now this red, I've been saving this skin. You can see I had the Piddle pad underneath it. This red one, I don't know about if it's going to be pretty or not, but there are some spots in there that have a lot of pretty golds in it. The um, 
red will not show up real pretty, but where your combinations are is where you want to look at this. So just look around and, and pick a, a spot. I don't do a lot of greens, so this would be a good one for me to, if I needed some green necklaces, then I would need to make it out of this. When I was doing all the pink for my great-granddaughter, you can just actually cut your skin. You can see how pretty those that is. Right now I tend to like this one a little bit better than this one, so I'll just move it over. With Valentine's coming up, the pinks would be very pretty. So I'll just move that over to a place that's got a lot of color and it's going to pop up. I like the golds and the whites and the pinks in there. So there's a lot, a lot of places here that the skins are very pretty. So I'm going to move that over to... Look right over here. Oh, that's pretty. So I'm going to do that one right here. And like I said, I just take and hold it with my fingers and trim around it. I find it's the easiest. Some lay it down, glue it on, trim it with an X-Acto knife. Nothing wrong either way. It doesn't matter. Once these skins are stuck to this bead, it really does not come off. And like if I if I ha need to stretch this a little bit, I can pull this up, the uh, skin, because it seems like it needs to be stretched a little bit. I could stretch it out like this with my fingers. Because it seemed like there was a kind of a heavier spot in one spot than the other. So I just stretched it out a little bit. So that it would seem like it's more level. And now I need to make sure I get it back on there right. So I'm just stretching it out a little bit. Because they can be stretched. And isn't that pretty? So I'm going to trim this one little area off. I'm going to find me a round one. And I think that's pretty. This has got like the tree of life on the back of it. You don't have to be real precise with uh, the glue. And I have not even glued the uh, skins on because once I attach that uh, glue to the back of that and the skin onto the glass bead, I have not found that they're coming off. Now, last summer, uh, last winter, I actually took a uh, cruise with my grandson and we were in Puerto Rico San Juan, Puerto Rico, and San Juan, and they were selling these necklaces, and I bought several of them. They were selling them for $10. They were selling them for $10, and I know that they were skins because they're exactly, they look exactly like a lot of these colors. 
So that's how you make jewelry out of your skins. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we're having a lot of conflict and um, in our world with the, the pandemic and everything. And I really hope that people will be kind to each other and have a great day. And if I can do this, anybody can do it. I'm taking you down for a close. I'm hoping that you can see them without too much glare. That's the green one, and that's like a blue with the gold and the red. That's the pink, and that one's so pretty. Um, it, let me see if I can move it a little bit so it gets better color. And then here's the sets that I was showing you. And I'll be putting the earrings on there. This one's got green. I don't know if you can, if I can get in an autofocus or not without the glare. And then these are the blues and whites. And they've got purples, and this one has a whites and kind of blues. There's the pink one. That's blue and white. This is the one I said was my favorite, right there. Turn this one around. This one's really pretty, too. You can see some of them have some golds and browns and things in it. That's very pretty. This is a real pretty one right here that has golds and, and blues running through it. This round one has also got golds running through it. It's really hard to see with the glare, but, and this is the red one that I cut while I was on screen. There's the pinks and the purple. So that's the close-up of them. They're a lot of fun to do. It's a real challenge to find all the pretty Places in there, you you want to move them everywhere, but they're really pretty to do. Have a great day.